just focus on these supplements that I told. These five supplements are the only supplements that you actually need for muscle gain and nothing else. No BCAs, no EAs, no this Baba Ji Ki Booty, kuch nahi chahiye. All right, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel, Zilocity. And in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you the best supplements that you need for muscle gain. But before getting into the supplements, I would like to clear out that you need to eat your goddamn protein. Okay, if you want to gain muscle, the first thing that you do is increase your protein intake. If you've not been eating enough protein, then you have to make sure that you're getting the adequate amount of protein that your body needs in order to grow or gain muscle, right? Because protein, the last I checked, every human being on the planet has muscle, especially if you're working out, you need more protein. So 1.6 grams per kg of body weight is definitely essential if you want to gain muscle. And the second tip of advice is, is tip of advice well i don't know if that makes sense if that's actually a word i don't know but the second tip is that you need to make sure that you're eating at least maintenance calories better if you're eating in a calorie surplus as in if you want to know how to count count your calories then this is the video go check it out so eat in a slight caloric surplus if you want to gain good quality muscle you will definitely gain some fat but go in a 200 calorie surplus to make sure that you gain less fat but also make sure that there's a adequate amount of energy for your body, it's creating an environment that is easy to gain muscle when you have more energy, all right? Now, without wasting any more time, the number one supplement that is helpful for muscle gain is whey protein. Whey protein helps you stay on track with your protein intake and also make sure that you're getting the right amount of protein, especially if you have a busy day, well, like me. Sometimes I don't feel like having a meal and I just put some whey protein, add some curd, and I make a whey protein lassi and I have it. It's that simple. It gives you the amount of protein that your body needs and it helps you stay on track with your protein intake. It's very simple, okay? But if you can do without a whey protein supplement and if you can reach 1.6 grams per kg of body weight and getting good quality protein from chicken, eggs, fish, paneer, dairy, curd, etc., etc., then you do not need a whey protein supplement. But most people will definitely find it helpful to include a whey protein or plant protein and reach your optimal protein intake and make sure that you're getting the desired results. Okay, very simple. Number two, creatine monohydrate. Creatine is one of the best supplements that you can use for muscle gain. Why? It provides more energy for your workouts. There is an energy system in the body which is called the phosphorin system and that uses creatine phosphate for giving you energy. For quick, short bursts of energy creatine is very helpful so especially when you're doing like high intensity heavy weight lifting creatine really helps you push harder lift heavier weights okay so if you're doing two reps or three reps with 20 kg dumbbells creatine is going to help you get one or two reps extra because of the extra creatine phosphates that you're getting from the creatine supplement that you're taking how much to take five grams per day is the perfect dose that your body needs five grams take it at whatever time of the day preferably post workout is creatine will be absorbed the best preferably with whatever meal that you're taking after your workout you don't need to like take your protein shake directly after workout but if you are then just add it in your protein shake and you're gonna get the desired amount of creatine the desired results that you should be getting from creatine okay but don't stress that you have to take alpha lipoic acid along with creatine and you have to take 60 70 grams of pure glucose you do not need it okay just take simple creatine with whatever meal you're taking it will be absorbed properly and fine okay no loading no bullshit, no drama, no glucose, no alpha lipoic acid, nothing. Okay, plain creatine, five grams a day. Number three, you need a multivitamin. The chances of you getting all the required amount of vitamins and minerals from your diet alone is not as high, okay? So it's always better to supplement with a multivitamin, also a multimineral, basically multivitamins also have multiminerals in them. So basically the minerals such as zinc, you do not get zinc enough from the diet alone. So it's better to go for a multivitamin which has more zinc, okay? About 10 to 20 mg of zinc in and other B complex vitamins and decent dose of calcium, magnesium, etc., etc. all the vitamins and minerals, most of the multivitamins have good amount of all vitamins and minerals, but I would prefer zinc over it because it has slightly more zinc and good quantity of other vitamins and minerals as well. But you can literally go for any multivitamin as long as it is providing at least like 10 to 20 mg of zinc in that one tablet. Okay, one tablet a day, don't stress too much. It's not going to cause any side effects. Okay, 
Number four, omega-3. Omega-3 is basically a very important supplement and this is something that you do not specifically have to take only for muscle building. With any freaking goal that you have, even if you just want to maintain your weight, if you want to lose weight, if you want to gain weight, whatever you want to do, omega-3 is very helpful. It keeps your cholesterol levels in check, as in it helps you boost your HDL, which is the good cholesterol, and keeps your VLDL and triglycerides in check. It lowers down that. VLDL and triglycerides are actually the bad cholesterol, not necessarily the LDL cholesterol, okay? Because in LDL, you also have apolipoprotein A, apolipoprotein B. We do not want to get into the specifics, do we? Okay, so omega-3 is very important for her cholesterol, which also makes sure that your heart is in good health. And omega-3 is also very important for your joint health. And that is how, if your joint health is good, if you're lifting heavy in the gym, you need good joint health, right? So taking omega-3 is very important you need omega-3 how much of omega-3 minimum thousand mg of omega-3 is what you should be taking in a day if you're eating fish regularly then you do not necessarily have to go higher okay if you're eating good egg yolks almonds walnuts a variety of good fats in your diet then you do not have to take like high doses but you can take 1000 mg every day and it's a safe dose you do not have to worry about the side effects increasing heat in the body this bs nothing okay don't worry about the side effects it's not going to create any side effects in the body up to 3000 5000 mg a day is fine but 1000 to 2000 is what is what something that you can take okay number five pre-workout take a pre-workout supplement if you think it's improving your performance in the gym now take an example you've been working from 9 a.m and till the evening 6 p.m and you get back home and then you directly go to the gym and because you don't have time to eat something and you go to the gym you feel like trash you can't even lift like 10 kg dumbbells for 10 reps and you're freaking exhausted what do you do take a pre-workout supplement that's going to help you do 10 kilo dumbbells for 15 reps as opposed to just 10 reps without the pre-workout it's going to even help you push harder in the gym if it is helping you push harder in the gym guess what's going to happen it's going to help you gain muscle better if you lift heavier weights you're going to gain more muscle is it is it not logical there is there any flaw in this logic if you train hard in the gym you will definitely gain more muscle it's that simple okay you can just take caffeine alone you don't have to go for crazy pre-workout formulations if just caffeine is helping you push through your workouts and like perform better in the gym then do that okay if you think having just a good protein shake and a fruit before workout helps you boost your workout then do that do whatever that makes you improve your performance in the gym and you kick ass in the gym lift heavy weights eat your goddamn protein lift your goddamn heavy weights gain your goddamn muscle yeah i'm literally telling you what works okay so um you don't need to take bcas you don't need to take essential amino acids you don't need to take test boosters you don't need these stupid marketing gimmicky things you don't need all of these okay and i see so many people promoting take this zma it's gonna boost your testosterone nah it's not there is no study that shows significant evidence that zma which is basically zinc magnesium aspartate it improves improves your muscle building or improves your testosterone levels no okay you take these test boosters thinking wow i'll gain more muscle it's all crap it's not gonna help you just focus on these supplements that i told these five supplements are the only supplements that you actually need for muscle gain and nothing else no bcas no eas no this babaji ki booty kuch nahi chahiye nothing okay you do not need extra stupid marketing gimmick supplements okay so this was the video i hope you actually liked this video and if you did hit the like button share this video with your friends and family and hit the subscribe button if you have not already subscribed to my channel and if you want to hit me up for my personal coachings or my video consultations then this is my instagram go hit hit here and you can also follow me for my meal updates what i eat in a day so that you can get inspiration from that and try making that in your caloric limit and eat your goddamn protein and and make sure you're consistent with your workouts do not give up and always, always be mindful about your eating habits and your workout and your overall lifestyle. Okay, thanks again for watching the video. I will see you in the next video.